Police complex, Rhododendron Hall. Itu bar aina sen. To yete aji itu itu hall bar. Tahan meeting lu shaji. Yete meeting lu civil society or state government lah. Civil society, very civil society, or state government. Tahan bitor de. Itu meeting lu shaji aspal lo bor de. So we decided to cooperate with each other. Yeah, we will write to the government of India once again. The government said they will work towards. Naga people will not accept any humanitarian aid provided. I also favor for total lifting. Yeah, we have had a uh, good sitting, free and frank discussion, because all are of the view that this uh, lifting of APSPA in some district, partial lifting, and in some district, full the. Uh, fully lifted. So we welcome the idea, but uh, we exchange the idea how to take it forward. So if we implement, for example, like the ceasefire ground rule with the people, the people, government and uh, police, if government and the people support the police, so we can implement this uh, ceasefire ground rules in Toto. So the question of uh, see reimposing this as part of the standard height. So we decided to cooperate with each other and take it forward so that the remaining area also slowly it will go on the the uh, diminishing return. And at the end of the day, the whole state may be the, uh, done away with this as part. So that is the hope. If people, people and the government work together. So, what kind of mechanism are you? Is the state government going to put in place to ensure that this, uh, this implementation is successful and that there is no room for the government of India to impose this AFSPA again in these areas? That is why, as I said, the state police. We have about twenty thousand forces. Those people now they have, they they have, uh, re-strengthened their forces in all the police station. So, with this, uh, our own forces, if we can implement the ceasefire ground rule, there is no question of reimposing this uh, APSPA in our state. So, so what, what is the view of the civil society, the tribal-based organization? Yes, some are of the view that uh, the whole state should be uh, lifted and this uh, APSPA should be repealed in total. But uh, that will take a chief. The process will take a long time. That is so. We should start. We should start in our own state, where a place like Sikkim. They are peaceful. So Aspa, Aspa is lifted, and even Tripura, Mizoram, no Aspa is lifted. So it depends on the situation also. So, sir, are we getting closer to another solution with the lifting of uh, partial lifting of Aspa? No, no, that is, that is also we have discussed. If Nagab solution is resolved, then Nagaland will become the most peaceful state. So when there is no arms group, question of uh, imposing this APSPA also does not arise. So this also we have decided to work together, to come closer to each other and find out the middle part to resolve this issue, Naga issue. So, sir, last question regarding the Othing incident. Uh, why the SIT report has not uh, tabled it to the public domain yet? Why no, no, it, it has to go to the court. It has to go to the army court. Then army court will decide. Then it will it become public uh, documents. So it's been four months and then we have heard that uh, the SIT report has been completed. So it's supposed to be tabled to the public domain as well. No, no, it is, it is not like that. There is not a state uh, within the domain of the state. 
state government also cannot touch till the report goes to the court, army court. Then the court will decide. Then it will become public so documents. Can we expect that? It's been four months. That is why we have to approach government of India to hasten up to hasten up the process. Right. We will write to the government of India that uh, this ASPA, according to us, is very, very bad. Or we call it uh, draconian law. So when there is a peace in our land, there should be no this act in our land. And uh, in pursuance of that, we will write to the government of India once again. This is that the uh, Naga political groups have been in ceasefire for a long period of time. Right, right. So that is what we are saying. When there is a ceasefire, there is a peace talk, there should be no, and we don't see any disturbances, we don't see law and order problem in the state. So there is no reason, there is no point that the government of India should impose this as per under this and that pretext. So sir, uh, regarding this partial removal of ASPA, what do you have to say on it? No, that is what, I'm, uh, what we are talking about. Partial removal, of course, that is uh, like uh, something is better than nothing. But still, we feel that uh, when there is no reason why ASPA should be imposed, we feel that uh, it should be completely removed. So where does, was the state government also in favor of, the, uh, in favor of removing the act permanently? Right. Even the state government is uh, with the people. It is with the people. So can you uh, give us an uh, approximate number of organizations that attended the meeting? I think more than 20, including the respective tribe hohos. So I think it is more than 20. It's uh, not satisfactory to everybody. Even the state government? Uh, state government, so they said they worked towards that. They appreciated the relaxation. But uh, for the public, to where there was no two opinion that uh, in this uh, partial relaxation of some parts and retaining only in Naga areas, even in other states. It was kind of an insult to our human intelligence. So are you rejecting hmm. the partial? No, I mean, we can't reject what has been done. I mean, it's good that partial relaxation, is, but it shouldn't have been partial. It, has been, it should have been wherever. And it should be repealed. This kind of law does not deserve to exist in any democracy. So, so what is the stand of the government? State government? Uh, government said they will work towards uh, uh, lifting of the act in total. So we appreciate their stand. We cannot expect much beyond that also for our government. We appreciate the government of Nagaland for inviting all the uh, civil society organizations and tribal leaders uh, to share their words and uh, for which we are thankful to the government of Nagaland. Uh, in the course of our discussion, uh, Naga Students Federation is uh, uh, not satisfied because we have seen many leaders accepting the peace meal uh, given towards the, particularly towards the Nagas and to the state of Nagaland. Um, as we have uh, resolved and as we have already came out with the directive to all the units of the, uh, of the Naga Students Federation that uh, Naga Students Federation will continue not to cooperate with the uh, Indian Armed Forces and we will, not, uh, we will ensure that uh, Naga people will not accept any humanitarian act provided by the uh, so-called friends of the hill people. For so long ASPA exists and for so long ASPA operates in our Naga homeland. Of course everything has a process and uh, for which we appreciate the efforts and the seriousness given by the, particularly the uh, government of Nagaland. However, as I have said earlier, for so long ASPA exists and uh, Naga people as a whole, even the government of the day should also strengthen to ensure that ASPA is repealed in our entire homeland. And there should not be any mixed feeling. As I have said, there is a, uh, everything is a, has a process. And this may be one process where uh, it has satisfied cer certain section of uh, Naga people. However, we have to ensure that ASPA is revoked or repealed or lifted from the entire Naga homeland. The Chief Minister of Meghalaya, Karna Sama, has mentioned that the removal of ASPA depends a lot on the actions taken by the state government. So in regards, in context of the uh, of Naglan, are you, is the NSF satisfied with the, uh, with the approaches taken by the state government in regards to removal of this act? As I have said earlier, uh, this, is the state, uh, this is the development where most of the people are satisfied. However, 
Naga as a people. Uh, we are living in a very peaceful manner where uh, no such uh, incidences or things development does not merit to have aspa in the in our in our particularly in the state of Nagaland as well as in the Naga homeland, and for which uh, we once again uh, we once again to appeal to the government of the day to be more serious and strengthened. Uh, with the, uh, the the civil society organization so as to ensure that this draconian act is repealed because we don't our society naga society does not merit to have this satanic act to be prevailing in our state we were discussing about this uh, aspa partial lifting and also uh, we were talking about the uh a political issue how to bring about a consolidated idea among the Naga tribes so as to expedite to bring to a final conclusion final conclusion it is not yet uh, finally over meeting maybe still continued that's all was the view of the government on the partial lifting? Was it, uh, was the government happy? Uh, government says that they are happy with the government of India for partial lifting. Uh, but the uh, tribal Huhu leaders, most of them express that the partial lifting has got no meaning. It has to be totally lifted. That's what he said. So are you also in favor of the total lifting of the... I also favor for total lifting. But you see, uh, uh, here, the state government uh, has a very functional role to play. Yes. Uh, while maintaining the law and order in the proper shape. So for that matter, of course, government required... Uh, uh, support and coordination, cooperation from the civil societies also. That's what you want to do. So do you feel that the scenarios over here in the state? I do feel that way. I do feel that way. But it depends on the determination. And you determination, you just say, and you determination, how far you are determined to handle the law and order situation firmly. So it depends a lot on the state, uh, state police. Correct, but the uh, state police as well as the political will. One more thing. What is the atmosphere within the NPS in the backdrop of this uh, revo revoking of the suspension of the seven rebel MLAs? Well, uh, it was a mutual decision. Both the legislature and then the party mutually decided that the revocation has to be effected. And what has been the response from the seven? Are they happy? They are so happy, I believe. I believe they are so happy. Does it imply that they are wholeheartedly NPF or they are with the NDP? You please ask them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. Today, civil society to Amihana Nagaland around 20 civil societies, 20 or uh, around 20 in Shnatan Aine. It will show in our Idu meeting Kotomabish Amihan Jano Bashaman Kotakwam. The Tandu to partial uh, uplift Kurdadu, Aswa, Unforced Special Power, Akidu, partial Uthaidadu, it to Kushinai Gunetan Janai, Jikilaman, it to completely Athaidi Lebhala Segune, Amihan Janai Dijaro. I mean, I'm NSF president, but you know, it's a dragon and law, it's a ball, it's a kill money, it's a good merit, I mean, a state that I will kill money, it's a peaceful, I say, I mean, a state, but partially, no, in a fully at I do like you, I mean, I'm NSF president, but you know, I'm going to be a lot of civil society, the president can come to the town, but I'm going to be a good one, it's 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 a good